Okay, I tried filming this earlier, but it was kind of like all over the place. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I was crying earlier and kind of tearing up watching Christina's videos. So basically, if you don't know already, um, there's a singer named Christina Grimmie who's, who was 22 years old that passed away yesterday at her own concert. Some guy went into the venue and shot her three times and she died and then the guy killed himself. It's just an unbelievable tragedy that happened. I, When I first heard about it, I was like speechless. I was like, is this for real? Like, is this like one of those like troll deaths like i didn't want to believe it you know like she was so young you know 22 years old and she was a, a very amazing singer belt out all these high notes she was an amazing piano player and learned like all of her um like her piano like covers like all by ear she was just an amazing person in general like overall you know i didn't know her personally obviously or i've never met her but just by watching her videos you could tell that she genuinely cared for people and her fans and you know just anyone around her and got taken away too soon you know she was a great person and then this guy you know how how did he even get in the venue with a gun like was there not security around like what what's how did that even happen did they not see him pull out the gun or like did they see him not act suspicious or what but yeah so i guess they're like trying to like what i read on like news articles and stuff that they're trying to like find a connection or like if the guy knew her or not or it's just some random guy that was one of those like crazies crazy people that stalker or something either way very very sad to hear about this news like when i heard about it, i was so shocked i didn't know what to feel i mean um i haven't been really keeping up with her youtube channel but back in the day like in 2010 11 and 12 i was completely obsessed with her and um like i would always watch her videos when i would come home from school um and even days in school when we had internet days i would listen to her covers and do my school work or whatever and like <sighs> she was just always bringing happiness and positivity in her videos i love that she had her own style like she you know had her i mean not now but when she first started off or like not first started off but like in the beginning stages i guess of her youtube videos she had like her christina grimmy hair you know like that was her signature look and i remember even having wanting my hair to be like that and it didn't really look that great on me but um but what i'm trying to say is like i really loved her and i still do like i watched her snapchat stories almost every time she posted you know videos they're always witty and funny and like i don't know like i i just i still don't believe that she's gone i mean literally her latest snapchat story was at the concert you know she was explaining what like she was going to be performing and and then the, another one was about people never can spell her name right. And, you know, little did she know that was going to be her last concert. And, like, you know, you know, it's just like another day, you know, performing. You know, we, we, we don't think of anything like this would happen. And, like, little did she know or anyone knew that, you know, she wouldn't be coming home or she wouldn't be you know she wouldn't leave that place basically alive and 
just so heartbreaking to hear that. Um, it's just really sad to hear that because she was such a great person that went away too soon, and then that guy had to come here and just, just kill her. Like, like I'm sorry, I'm just getting choked up again, but. I really loved her videos like she was amazing I love her voice and like I always say I, I know I already said that but she was just an amazing person she genuinely cared for people I just can't imagine what her family is going through and her like close friends you know especially the brother because he had to witness that because I read in the news article that her brother is the one that tackled the guy and then he killed himself but I can't imagine what the brother is going through right now so you know I'm really gonna be keeping her family in my prayers and thoughts and her friends and you know everyone close around her because I, I just can't imagine you know um, it's just sad I, I literally found her videos from watching party in the USA covers and I think I just randomly stumbled upon her video back in like 2010 and I was like oh my gosh this girl is really good and she could play the piano really well you know and um, just by watching her videos it inspired me to play the piano because I um, learned how to play the piano like way back in like when I was five but I kind of stopped and then watching her she inspired me to pick up the piano again back in 2010 and you know I just enjoyed watching her videos you know very talented young woman and you know she was only like what 16 15 when she started YouTube really young and you know and she was on the voice and um, I didn't really watch her that much on the voice but I've seen like a few like uh, performances that she did like the one with Ed Sheeran just really beginning to take off and make a career out of herself and she just got taken away way too soon she'll always be Zelda X love 64 I'm sorry if this video is really bad or made you sad and you don't know about her but sorry but yeah I just I wanted to make this video because I think she should be remembered for her amazing talent you know she should be remembered she's a great person I mean I didn't know her personally but or met her and I don't know if I already said that but but she should be remembered and I know there's like some people and going to be some people be like oh she's a celebrity why are you so sad about her or you don't even know her why are you so sad this and that and you know you don't need to know her personally to be sad or at least respect her or respect the loss you know? i can't get over it I'm gonna be up all night probably watching all of her covers and music and um i remember back in 2011 when she came out with her first album or when she first came out with that music video called Advice I loved it and I like I think my dad bought the song for me and the music video for me so I could have it on my iPod and I would watch it all the time and her music just made me happy you know the covers and her original music yeah just keep her family and your thoughts and prayers and the world like this world needs some prayers it's like a messed up world we live in like so many crazy people and so much crazy things happening and also just remember to you know don't take life for granted because you never know nowadays that was like a normal thing for you know like a concert like a concert is supposed to be like a happy like safe environment you know she was signing autographs for her fans when that happened but yeah just and remember to tell your loved ones that you love them every day and hug them as much as you can because you just never know prayers to christina's family and friends and i'm gonna go now bye guys peace out